Adventure Kids, it is so great to see you this morning and I can't wait to share today's Bible story with you. I think you're really going to like it. Oh, hey Pascal. Ah! Oh, Pascal, it's just a storm. It's nice and safe and warm in here. You don't have to be afraid. But I hate thunderstorms. They're so loud and... <laughs> Well, maybe today's Bible story will help you take your mind off things. Really? Okay, what's it about? Well, it's about, um, a big scary storm. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I guess that really doesn't help you out. But maybe today's Bible point will help out instead. Is it, don't go out in the storm or you'll die? No, Pascal. Our Bible point is, storms show us who Jesus is. How does a storm show us who Jesus is? Well, let's jump right into today's story and find out. The Bible Adventures of Jesus includes a story about a time when Jesus and his disciples were caught in a terrible storm, and it goes like this. The disciples had been with Jesus for a long time. They lived and traveled together, so they got to know each other pretty well. Think about how well you know the people who you live with. Who talks the most? Who tells corny jokes? Who leaves homework until the last minute? The disciples would have known each other that well. They had listened to him teach and watched him perform amazing miracles. One day, Jesus and his disciples got into a boat and started going across the lake. Suddenly, a fierce windstorm roared up around them. Think about the windiest storm you have ever experienced. The kind of wind that is so strong that it blows down trees and pushes you around if you try to walk around outside. Well. They were in a boat in the middle of a lake. The storm was so ferocious that waves were sweeping up over the sides of the boat. Can you imagine how scary that must have been? Believe it or not, Jesus was sleeping through the whole thing. Sleeping! The disciples woke him up shouting, Lord, save us! We're going to drown! Jesus said to them, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up, yelled at the wind and waves, and suddenly the wind calmed down. The disciples were amazed. Who is this man? They asked. Even the winds and waves obey him. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls say. Owls say who? Why, yes they do. <laughs> That's the first thing you said that was logical. Knock, knock. Who's there? Theodore. Theodore who? Theodore wasn't open. That's why I knocked. <laughs> My battery must be low. Knock, knock. Who's there? Art. Art who? R2, D2. This is awkward. Albert out. Peace. I need some new friends who are funny. Experienced. The kind of wind that is so strong that it blows down trees and pushes you around if you try to walk around outside. Well, they were in a boat in the middle of a lake. The storm was so ferocious that waves were sweeping up over the sides of the boat. Can you imagine how scary that must have been? Believe it or not, Jesus was sleeping through the whole thing. Sleeping! The disciples woke him up shouting, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. Jesus said to them, why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up, yelled at the wind and waves, and suddenly the wind calmed down. 
The disciples were amazed. Who is this man? They asked. Even the winds and waves obey him. Now, remember that the disciples had lived with Jesus for years. They heard his teachings and watched him perform many miracles. They had seen him turn water into wine, feed hundreds of people with just a loaf of bread and a few fish, and heal people who were blind, deaf, and unable to walk. But this storm caused them to say to each other, who is this person that can even control unpredictable and powerful forces of nature? Even though they thought they knew Jesus pretty well, the storm helped them understand him even more. That Jesus is creator and he has power over his creation. The disciples also learned that they can trust in Jesus to protect them during life's biggest storms. When we face storms, difficult, scary, or sad things, they can help us see who Jesus is in our lives as well. Savior, shepherd, protector, provider, friend, and so much more as we get to know and love him better. Now is a great time to talk with God through prayer. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to save us. Remind us in difficult situations that each one is an opportunity to grow in our faith and understanding and see who Jesus really is. Amen. And that's our story. Wow, I can't believe Jesus was just snoozing through that huge storm. The wind must have been howling so loud and the waves were probably knocking the boat from side to side. That's crazy. Yep. But what happened when the disciples woke Jesus up? He yelled at the storm and told the wind and waves to stop. And they did! That's right. And what did the disciples learn about Jesus that day? They learned that Jesus has power over his creation and that they can trust him to keep them safe, even during the scariest of times. Very good. And that's our Bible point for today. Storms show us who Jesus is. You see, we can experience storms in our own lives too. Like if someone we love gets sick, or if we're scared of going to a brand new school, or if something doesn't turn out the way we want it to. Or if there's literally a storm happening right outside your window. That's right, Pascal. But through these difficult times, we can learn more about who Jesus is. He is healer, creator, protector, provider, and friend, and so much more. Hey, you know what? I think the storm just stopped. You! I mean, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I wasn't scared one bit. I knew we would totally be safe in here. Okay, Pascal, if you say so, have an adventurous week, everyone. Adventure Kids, this is a part of the show where you send in your questions to me, Jake, and I answer them. And in this episode, I have a question for you. Are you going to be in the Christmas play? The Christmas play is something our church does every year, and here's why I love it. It's a great opportunity for kids to use their gifts to share the story of Christ's birth. You learn so much more by actively doing something instead of just hearing about it. And there will be lots of parents, grandparents, friends, and family who all come to watch you, and some of them may not know Jesus. We get to share the gospel with them. So are you going to be in the play? I think that's an awesome question. For the fun part of our segment, I thought I'd show you a video from when I was in the play. Check it out.
So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website, takeawaywithjake.com, and I'll be happy to answer your question right here on the show.